etc. So in our Azure DBA concepts, we are going to learn from the scratch. Is on top of our basic DBA and on-premise DBA concepts, we have Azure DBA course, wherein we start from Azure introduction. We start from what is cloud, what is Azure, and from there we go for configurations, migrations, different ways of migrating the on-premise, non-cloud databases to cloud. We slowly step into tuning, manual and automated tuning, free and paid tuning options. There are two different modes of tuning, paid and free. In Azure, pertaining to SQL databases, we'll be taking LITs, backup restores, availability zones, replication, and failover, these are all into HADR concepts, high availability disaster recovery concepts. And something called data sync to synchronize the data between, replicate data between on-premise and Azure Cloud. Then we are going to learn something called security management. There are nine levels of security in Azure. Virtual machines we learn in detail. We are going to learn clusters and always on implementation practically. Then comes on-prem to Azure admin level differences. Migration cheat sheets, HADR security, performance tuning comparisons, project work. And finally, we'll be having the DP300 certification guidance. So to step into these Azure DBA concepts, we need to have prior knowledge on core DBA concepts. So here is a checklist you see on my screen as a SQL DBA. We have hands-on right from installation, installation issues to Concepts on constraints, joins, trigger, procedures, functions. Basics should be fine, like what is what. As a DBA, we don't involve in development. So basic value of all these concepts, all the objects of the databases. And then junior DBA activities, backups, restores or senior DBA, like strategies on backups, strategies on restores, maintenance plans, jobs, security, migrations, index management, tuning, tuning tools, execution plan analysis, log management, replication, log shipping, mirroring, health check, temp DB, log space, and memory issue solutions, recovery models, DAC, system DB rebuilds, user DB and user table rebuilds. These are all the core concepts we should be aware of and even updates and upgrades as well before we step into the Azure part. So my kind request, collect the curriculum from our website. Azure DBA is from chapter 31 to 40. 1 to 30 is on-premise DBA. Revise all those 1 to 30 chapters. Then from 31 chapter, we have Azure DBA, the add-on. If you are into experience profiles, you may do ETL admin that is into data warehouse concepts. 
So regular database administration is for OLTP, right? Whereas UTL admin, it is more into data warehouse management, big data. So in our Azure DBA classes, what we are going to learn? Built on top of your SQL and core DBA skill set. They're comfortable with these things, the left side items. You can right away step into the right side one. If not, start from the scratch. From the scratch, from the basics, based on your comfort. SQL and core DBA first, then Azure DBA next. As actual order, dependence, technical dependency order. So here is a concept dependency. Database basics, SQL concepts, server database index architecture first. Then tuning, backups, jobs, security, health checks, and common issue solutions, updates, upgrades, rollback, rebuild, so on. With replication, log shipping, and mirroring concepts. So all these come under the on-prem DBA, on-premise DBA means non-cloud DBA activities. Coming to cloud, we have configurations first. Once we do the configurations, then slowly we'll step into DTU, tuning, auditing, security, backups, etc. Clustering always on and more. Okay, we'll do it one by one. So to enjoy this black box content, we need to have, we need to have thorough knowledge on the on-premise DBA activities. Thorough knowledge is expected because we need to understand, right? What is what? Here is a keyword checklist. The complete yellow box items, prerequisites to step into the green box items. In green box, complete green box, right from cloud basics. to always on implementation. Everything I'll take care practically from Azure DBA concepts. Make sure you revise the core DBA concepts, I mean the on-premise DBA concepts. Next, in case you are into ETL admin, There we are going to have examples, practice touch on data warehouse and big data maintenance activities. Sometimes in DP300 examination, we see data warehouse admin related activities also. So good to have ETL admin concepts save. Next, with this information, back to our notes on second. Here we go. In on-prem DBA concepts, as an on-premise DBA, we work with Tecatic tools. Of course, nowadays there are cloud-based ticketing tools like Remedy or Cornerstone, a lot of ticketing tools. Almost every ticketing tool is now cloud-based. In olden days, we used to do the installations. Now everything browser accessible activity, cloud-based activity. Using ticketing tools, we are going to receive requests from the customers like a server is down. 
a database is missing a database is down database is slow table data is not responsive something like that. kind of issues day-to-day -day issues and core dba we learn how to address those problems we call routine dba activities and emergency dba activities we address those problems additionally we have few more additional or extra issues we need to address in azure dba here you go before we step into azure dba from core dba basics of database administration make sure we are aware of all the routine and emergency dba activities first For example, server is down, database is down, or for example, you have data missing or any other kind of health check issues, consistency problems, hot CPU, configuring security, mirroring, etc. So make sure we are aware of all these items first. On-prem DBA concepts. Then step into Azure DBA. 31 to 42. Earlier I was showing 40, 42 chapters, 12 chapters. Duration. We have surface videos up to date same content as a live training every session has practical video followed by class notes you'll download the notes get access to the complete information you practice submit your assignments every chapter has assignments surface videos or you go for live if it is live we have weekend classes saturday sunday and three to four weekends so minimum three weekends it may extend up to four weekends based on doubts clarifications it's a weekend activity right so we need to have certain revision activities from the previous weekend and so on it may take and based on our comfort on the uh, core dba concepts i need to respond to your questions you need to respond to my questions so based on the interaction we need to plan for about three and off to four weekends and every week, Saturday, Sunday, two hours each. So in Azure DBA concepts, we are going to first do all the configurations, then start from migration, migration assessment, export, fine tune, implement, monitor, implement the search service. Monitoring activities, this actually AI, AI component, artificial intelligence component, Azure Search Service. So in our resume, we need to have AI as well. ETL admin is more into AI. If you wanted to add more AI components, big data and Spark cluster, data warehouse, pipeline administration, Spark admin, we have etl admin activities we are going to learn various monitoring management techniques backups implement pit or point in time recovery audit or verifying the backups configure failover data sync agent monitoring Virtual networks always on so on. Next. From here. What next? Make sure you have SQL Server 
or 2017 or higher installed in your computer and install SSMS also. Test connection from SSMS tool to your server. And to step into Azure, you need a credit card or a debit card to activate your free trial. You are not disclosing your details to anyone except to Microsoft on their website. And it's a one month trial. After one month, again, if you need to extend your trial as on date, there is no option to extend. We used to have it earlier in the past. In few cases, based on the uses of the portal, Azure portal. But now that option is no longer available. So we need to convert our subscription to pay as you go. From free account, we need to have paid account after one month. Anyway, our course would be max for four weeks, one month, it should be fine in case for further practice from your end. You may need to go for a new account for new trial. Or extend free trial to paid account. In our classes we'll be doing, we'll be using your existing SQL server and manage studio to We'll be having ADS tool, Azure Data Studio ADS. Azure SQL Server and Azure Virtual Machine. We have various implementations of cloud. Number one, PaaS, Platform as a Service. Number two, EAS, Infrastructure as a Service. In platform as a service, we don't need to bother about operating system details. We don't need to bother about the service, SQL Server service, everything Azure will take care in pass. Whereas in EAS, we have full control on the service. We can stop and start the service whenever we need. And we have full control on the operating system, type of OS, CPU, memory capacity, network, ports, IP, configurations, etc. So more control on EAS, infrastructure as a service. It's actually the interface in EAS is like your regular on-prem. So whatever we do in regular on-premise environment, everything detail we can do as is in Azure Virtual Machine, like replication, log shipping, mirroring, etc. Whereas Azure SQL Server is like a layer, separate layer of SQL on top of existing Azure infrastructure. We don't have any control on service or the server state or the processor, memory, network, and disk utilization of entire server. We don't have any control here. So both have their own advantages. PaaS is easier. EAS is more flexible. We need to have both in our classes. And merging these two, we have something called managed instance, part of our course. We have two examples exclusively on managed instance. Wherein we are going to merge PaaS and EAS components together. So there are two options now. Option one for our learning process. On-prem DBA. We are done with on-prem DBA. We have all the concepts with us. You directly step into Azure. I mean, from chapter 31. I repeat again. Chapters 1 to 30 as per our website curriculum. Chapters 1 to 30 are all about code. Revise all the concepts, especially the project elements from our website, like routine DB activities, emergency DB activities, SLA, OLA, 
rebuilds system database rebuilds user database rebuilds index rebuild table rebuilds server rebuild etc health check issues allocation consistency errors temp db and memory issues log space issues so on once you are done then step into azure it will be more meaningful useful journey with this we'll stop for now any this is your uh, final plan from sql dba you go for cloud okay stepping into cloud two options azure sql dba or data warehouse admin dw admin or etr admin either of them but doing both is always a recommended practice because highly recommended mainly uh, ETL admin is in demand for experience profiles. So with this information, I assure you once again, complete practice orientation from scratch, right from the basics. We'll do it slowly, step by step. All I need from you is your support during and after the classes. Practice as is. Do more practice and get more clarifications more doubts and more kind of errors and solutions let's do more let's get more and more with this we'll stop for now and you can reach me on this number or let's connect on linkedin you have your linkedin profile let's connect on linkedin let's share our thoughts let's take it from there for a free demo you may contact our team anytime 24 7. thank you so much have a nice time thank you once again